Hey, this is Steven. Today I'm going to give you a quick overview of a downstream keyer on an ATEM switcher and show you how we use it to add words to the bottom of our video. So let's get started. So the first thing you need to check is that you have the ATEM software installed on your computer. And assuming you do, go ahead and open it. And if your switcher supports downstream keyers, you will see downstream keyers over here in the right section. My particular switcher supports two, but some might support one, or you might have a switcher that has more. So let's look at the basic operation of the downstream key first. So by clicking on air, the downstream key turns on. And you'll see here, when I click on air, it goes on and off. And below it, we have the auto button, which does the same thing, but it does it with a fade transition. So it's set to one second right here. You could set it to two seconds or a smaller time if you wanted to. So just watch when I turn it, when I click auto, it fades on and fades off. Now let's look over here at this section here. So we'll see downstream key and we will open it. And first let's talk about the fill source and the key source. So essentially the key source is the image it uses to cut out, to cut out where your, your words or whatever it is that you are putting there is going. And the fill source is what goes in the area that's being cut. Generally, they're going to want to be the same, especially for this application where we're looking at here where we're just showing lower thirds text. But, you know, they don't have to be. Suppose we set our, so this is what it looks like now. Suppose we set our fill source to one of our cameras. Left camera. So then we still are, are cutting out our text, but we're filling it with an input from a different source. And now I don't know that you need to do that, but it's good to understand what you're doing there. So yes, again, we're going to set them both to the same input, the input that has our lyrics on it. And just to show you what that looks like up here on my switcher, let me go ahead and switch to it really quickly. So it is input five for me. So it's basically just a black background with white text on it. You see my reflection there, but I'm not really in the picture. So it's just a black background there. Okay, so let's look at our mask. The mask is very important. So my mask settings right now are negative three and a half, and bottom is negative nine, left and right are negative and positive 16. Um, you could adjust this, so this adjusts the area of your screen where the, the, key, the key is keying. So let me go ahead and first of all, I'm going to adjust the clip so I, you, can under, you can see what I'm talking about. So now when you look back at my screen here, you see that black area? So that is what I'm talking about with a mask. So if I set it to zero, it's taking up the whole half, the whole bottom half of the screen. I'm going to go back to negative 3.5, and it's only taking up about the lower third. Now I can click this little dot, and I can turn the mask off completely, and then my mask is taking up the whole screen. But that's all that's going to do is make my screen darker. So we don't want to do that. We want to make sure that we are using the mask. Now let me let's look down here again at clip and gain. This adjusts how uh, or, or the back basically the background of your of your lower thirds. So as I adjust the clip and the gain, so see watch that's adjusting the clip. It's fading out the background, but it's also fading out the words. So I'm going to adjust the gain now, and you will see that the words stay, but the background goes away. Here, let me just show you adjusting that. So I'm going to go ahead and close, I'm going to close ATIM and reopen it so that you can see my default settings. All right, so my default settings for clip and gain are 24% and 47 percent 24.1 47 and a half um, so that gives me the, the effect i want where the lyrics are or the words are visible but it's not creating a background and it's not adjusting the overall image in any other way other than showing the the lyrics as they appear on the lower thirds input that i have 
Now, the last thing that's important is you're going to want to, back here on your ATM software, after you get a setting you like, you're going to want to go to File, Save Startup State. And what that will do is it will save whatever settings you have selected so that when you open ATIM every time, it will go back to all those settings, including the ones we just did. So yeah, that's that. Thanks for watching.